Welcome back, everyone. This is Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and I'm bringing to you another edition of Rudy's Rants from Come On Now, the podcast. Of course, I am Rudy, your host, and let's talk about some stuff that's going on right now. But before we jump in, thank you for all your support and continued support of our channel. Please be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube page and share our videos with the people that you know so we can get the word out about what we're doing here. We do a lot more than just WNBA, so please get the word out beyond that. Um, and also be sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Come On Now Podcast and on X at Come On Now Pod. Let's jump right in. So yesterday, the streak for Angel Reese ended. And I've been reading all kinds of commentary on different podcasts, comments from people, things that are being said, articles, you name it. <clears throat> here's the first thing. And here's my response to what I've been reading. Streaks are fun. Streaks are exciting. Streaks get fans worked up, right? Streaks make you pay attention. And look, with the record having previously been 12 games by Candace Parker and Angel Reese being a rookie and breaking that streak, it's exciting. It's fun to watch. But is it actually good for the game? And there's two sides to every coin, as you know, and there's two sides to every story. The one side is off the rip. Okay, she pushed the, the streak out to 15 games before it ended yesterday. Exciting. Fans are jumping up and down. It's a little bit weird to me because if you're on the road, the opposing fans should not be cheering for an opposing player setting or continuing a record against my, your team. I, I've never truly seen that before, and I hope I never see it again because I think that fans cheering for opposing players is just unbelievably stupid. That all said, did the streak of Angel Reese help the Chicago Sky win? On paper, the answer is no. When she started her streak, they were three and four. When they finished her streak, they're nine and 14. So that means they were six and 10 from beginning to end of the streak six and nine if you exclude the game in which the streak ended but during that streak they were six and ten they got worse the chicago sky got worse as a basketball team not initially actually they got they were bad for pretty much the duration of that streak they started off the streak one and five and they've now finished the streak one in three. The Chicago Sky seem to be making a focus of getting the ball to a player who is offensively not that good. In fact, cut the shit. She's not good at all at all. She's not a good offensive player. Her offensive skills are completely lacking. Who in their right mind is looking to feed the post of a player who's not very good in the post. You don't feed the post of a person who can't play the post. You let her get her points on rebounds. You let her get her points on the putbacks. You let her get her points on dirty plays. What I mean by dirty plays, like, like grimy, like hustle plays. You don't give her her points or try to get her points by running the ball through the post to her. Angel Reese has no post game. It's been shown over and over and over again. She has no post game. Yet the Chicago Sky were making a point to try to get the ball inside to her. They did it yesterday. She misses a wide open bunny layup. That streak consumed her. It consumed her teammates. It consumed them to the point where they cheapened the number, cheapened the streak, cheapened basketball. They cheapened the sport. Down, up, I'm sorry, up seven. Let's dump it into the post as quickly as possible. 
with seven, eight seconds to go while she begs for the ball. In a game they lead by seven with the shot clock off and Atlanta not fouling. They did it again against, against the uh, Liberty on Thursday. A one-point game turns into a 15-point loss, but Reese is 5 of 17 from the field, and she's not sitting her ass on the bench. And they keep her in there long enough to grab a rebound to give her 10 rebounds with 2.09 to go and immediately pull her from the game. They consume themselves. Teresa Weatherspoon is just as guilty. She consumed herself with ensuring that this, this streak continued. They even ins- they tried to do it yesterday against the Liberty. They're down 14 points. And we're running the ball to the post. She's sprinting to the block, throwing her hands up in the air. She gets the ball from Kennedy Carter. I think it was Kennedy Carter. I could be wrong. But she gets the ball in the post. And New York Liberty says, "Uh uh-uh, you're not continuing this number on us. They dropped everybody. They dropped three people on her. They would say it was a fourth. Sabrina was not really guarding her. And then she flings the ball backwards towards half court. Some people say maybe she was shooting the ball. She was passing the ball, in my opinion. But she was, she's begging for the ball. You're down 14. If the New York Liberty, if the Chicago Sky are trying to score, they're not dumping it into the post of a woman who's three of 13 from the field, eight of 30 over the last two games, has missed 20 layups over a two-game stretch. They're not doing that. And then she kicks back out to the wing and is still throwing her hands up as a, uh, I forget which guard was at the top, top left dribbling. And at that point, they had said enough is enough. You're not going to keep cheapening the, ba- the game of basketball and the purity of basketball for bullcrap. And she flings her hands in the air, and with about two seconds to go, she puts her hands down and walks off the court pouting before the buzzer walk goes off. Angel Reese did nothing to help her public perception for the people who do not like her. The people who like her will keep liking her, but the people that don't like her or don't respect this streak, she just provided more ammunition. Heck, I have said before, I don't like her on-court persona. I don't like it. I think you can do everything that she does without being the way she is on the court. But she chooses that route. And now you have three straight games in which these numbers were fluffed up by bogus block shot into your hand, rebound. At times, I'm wondering if she's missing on purpose to catch her own shot now. Because of that streak. Because most blocked shots in the women's game get blocked right back to the person who shot it. They're not spiking the ball out of bounds. It's being tipped right back to the shooter. She had a shot yesterday that she was wide open on in the first half that she spiked into the bottom of the rim and it came back down and hit her in the head. Whose fault is it that Angel Reese's streak did not continue? It wasn't her teammates' fault. It wasn't her coach's fault. It's her own fault. She can't make layups. This has been the ongoing trend. She cannot make layups. And that is why you do not feed the post to an inefficient player and sit here and say, we're trying to win. No, you are not. You are not trying to win. You are not trying to win when your better post option is sitting on the bench for 10 minutes against the New York Liberty and Camila Cardoso. Camila Cardoso may not be the fastest, she may not be the quickest, but she's a better post player and makes more layups than Angel Reese. Yet she sits on the bench for 10 straight minutes on Thursday. The facts are the facts. The Chicago Sky defense got worse as this streak continued. The Chicago Sky as a team, outside of their Went over the Seattle Storm in that first of back-to-backs against Seattle. They were not good the last few games. And you could see that this streak was wearing on players because they weren't playing well. Kennedy Carter had the worst game she's had 
in weeks yesterday. She sat on the bench for like 15 straight minutes because she had three fouls, which I thought was ridiculous. She's your best offensive weapon. She's your best player. She sits on the bench. Something else happened that yesterday, which made Teresa with a spoon sitter. I don't know what it is, but streaks are great. Streaks are fun, but streaks are great and fun when they're in the, they're in, in the process of winning, in the process of helping your team win. And one thing that the Chicago Sky have not done during this streak is win very much. Six and ten is not winning. Their record was three and four when it started. It is they are nine and fourteen now. They're nine and fourteen. They did not get better during this streak as a team. They didn't. And we can sit here and we can talk about how the rookie of the year and all that. This stuff is consuming these. This this stuff is clearly consuming the Chicago Sky. It's consuming Angel Reese. It's her focus. Winning is not. And she showed it in, mo- in, in two of the last three games. Begging for the ball in the final seconds of a game that is over. Because she's trying to score. She grabs rebounds naturally. It's very rare that she doesn't grab rebounds naturally. I'm not going to sit here and discount her rebounding totals. Yes, I think some of them are fluffed up. Yes, I keep saying that. I keep saying it. I'll say it again. Some of her rebounding totals are fluffy. But they're not fluffy to the point where she wouldn't have grabbed double-digit rebounds in darn near every game outside of, I think, two. She had two or three games in which she had 10 rebounds. So, yes, in those games, you could call those games fluffy. But overall, her rebounding numbers in total of being double-digit boards, they are legitimate. If you go look, she had a 10-game, 1-10-game, 10, 1-10. She had four games with 10 rebounds over the last four, it was a 15, 16 games. She had four 10-rebound four games over the last 16 games. In one game, she was five offensive boards. Another was four offensive boards. Seven offensive boards, five. See, that's where it's fluffy because you already know that in those in those five, four, seven, and five, she grabbed rebounds off of her own misses and grabbed rebounds of rebounds off of her own block shots. That's fluffy. No question. That is fluffy. But when you drop you're having 13, 14, 18, 16, 16, 19, 14, 13, 16, even with the offensive rebounding, she's grabbing double digits in defensive boards. I mean, 11, 11, 10, 13, 11, 14, 10, 11, 10. Like she's grabbing double digit defensive boards in those games too. So I'm not going to sit here and criticize that. She grabs rebounds really well. She has a knack for the ball. She plays angles pretty well off shots. She's, she knows she seems to know how to position herself well. But don't sit here and tell me. Don't sit here and tell me that this has made them a better team. It's not right now. They're focused. They've lost by the last two games. They lost by 14, lost by 15. They beat the Atlanta Dream by nine, lost by 13. They, they, two of their last three wins are over the Atlanta Dream. The Atlanta Dream stinks. Before that, lost to Minnesota by eight, lost to Vegas by 12. If you want to be real about it, they only have two, they have two good wins this year. I don't even think their win over Indiana is good team, good because I don't think Indiana is very good. Indiana is one, Indiana is just like Chicago overall. They're just like Chicago. So, yeah, overall, um, this streak didn't make them better. And I think, this streak ending will probably help them relax. It'll help them ground themselves and focus on actually what you're supposed to be focused on. That's winning basketball games. The goal is to win. It's not to grab double digit boards every game. And if the goal for her is grabbing double digit boards every game, she has the wrong goal in mind. And she showed that over the last few games that that's what she cared about. Because I don't know. You don't ever need to see injuries take 17 shots in a game. 15 shots. 16, like this is, she's averaging, okay, over the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, she has 16 shots, 16 shots, 12, 13, 15, 9, 17, 13, 
She's taken 17 shots twice this season. And in both of those games, she went five of 17 from the field. Her field goal percentage is now back to 40%. Beginning this year, she took 14, 9, 10, 9, 9, 8, 9. So, yeah, um, we are where we are. They're now 9-14. and 14. The streak is over. Let's see how they come the rest of the way. But, yeah, I believe that this streak did not help their team. I believe this streak hurt their team. In fact, it made them consume them. It, their, their focus was on trying to make sure Angel got what she needed to continue it. And now it's over. Let's see what happens. That's all I got for now. I'd love to know your thoughts. Um, leave a message in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and follow us. Come on now.